What's up, you guys? My name is Jordan Perez, and I make more than double the average barber salary in Florida, only six months out of barber school. And I want to give you guys the first step to building clientele as a barber. So the first step to building clientele as a barber is going to be getting your service to word of mouth worthy status. Now, what does that mean? Word of mouth worthy status means that you give an experience so good that your clients are going to go out and tell their friends and family about you without you even having to do anything. Which pretty much, which that is like the foundation of marketing, having a product or a service so good that it markets itself, that the product is so good that it sells itself. Once you can get your service to that point, everything else I'm going to be able to teach you is going to be very, very simple. Now, why does this matter? This matters because if I teach you guys how to get a bunch of clients to sit in your chair, but your service is not at that word of mouth worthy status, you're going to be leaking a bunch of clients. You're going to be getting a bunch of clients in your chair, but you're not going to be able to retain them over a long course of time. And building a clientele and having a clientele means that you have a group, a group of people that continue to come to you and spend their money with you over a very long period of time. Now, if you are not able to retain clients, it's pretty much like having a bunch of water that you're pouring into a bucket and having a very big hole on the bottom. You're not going to be able to retain any water. But when you can have a word of mouth worthy service, it shrinkens the, uh, the hole in that bucket pretty much so that you can maintain a clientele. Now that hole in the bucket is what is called a churn rate. Pretty much how, what percentage of clients you're losing every single month. Now, there's various reasons why you would lose clients, such as moving away, job promotions in a different state, or them just wanting to make lifestyle choices too far from your location. Now, how do you guys get your service to a word of mouth worthy status? How you do that is by mastering two things, or at least improving them as much as possible. Your haircutting skill and your customer service skill. Your haircutting skill is going to consist of clipper, trimmer, razor, and scissor work. All of these are just mastering the basics. And your service skill is pretty much going to be how are you treating the client, your customer service, greeting them, being respectful with them, building rapport and a relationship with your clients to where they are going to want to continue to spend their money with you. Now, once you can get this down pat, now we can start talking about a bunch of different acquisition channels that are going to give you the best bang for your buck to get as many clients into the chair. Now, your guys' homework is to sit down and look at your service and see what areas you can improve when it comes to your skill and comes to your customer service. The skill is pretty easy. Educate yourself, do mannequin work, and continue to take pictures of your work to see where you can get better. Now, your customer service, this is going to go into character traits. It's going to go into daily practice or habits that you do with every single one of your clients, such as greeting them whenever they come in or, or making sure to do a very in-depth, personalized and tailored consultation. So those are a couple of things that you guys can do for your homework. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video and we will see you on.